Howdy folks and welcome to the bees knees. Today I'm going to be presenting to you how to play an Abbey using a tank with no armor. This I guess tactic works with uh, any I guess medium or unarmored heavy or light tanks even though with a light tank you've got more possibilities and uh, yeah as you might have guessed it it pretty much involves chilling around the middle area. Why? Well, if you don't have any armor, you probably notice that Abbey is pretty much devised of like three long corridors, right? Going left or right side of the map doesn't really like uh, provide any options for attack with no armor because it involves side scraping, it involves angling, you know, it involves using armor. But in the middle, you got these like nice uh, ridge lines from which you can first of all spot targets going towards the middle as you saw like we caught this pattern climbing up you can spot targets going up in the middle and you can also shoot them and uh, you are relatively safe from being shot from the enemy team of course if you over peek in the middle you can get shot quite easily by the TDs but I'm not I'm just like peeking slightly with my turret right and I'm also sticking quite close to the right side here so I don't uh, get any wild arty fire in me either so yeah pretty much uh, chilling around the middle area is a very good uh, thing to do if you don't have armor on on this map you can spot targets you can shoot them note though from this side you definitely do not want to push up you can actually go up here in the middle of the map not recommended from the side why because you might have noticed that this part here of the middle is open and you can easily get shot from the enemy base, right? Potential snipers already can just shoot inside and they can actually kill you super easy. So do not try to push up the middle ever, it's just not worth it, right? Not worth it. If you get the other spawn though, the middle from the other spawn is bliss. You got a lot of cover here, you got a building in front, you can spot TDs in the base. You can shoot like the both flanks from the middle. From the other side, it's much, much, much better, right? You could even say that the middle area is not very well balanced, right? It's more biased towards the other side. You can farm super easily from the middle. But from this side, I recommend being cautious and only like peeking around the around these areas. You can also like get like couple of side shots in the middle of course if the enemy team uh, yeah pushes at the at the bushes and you probably noticed when I tried to shoot a progetto I hit behind those rocks I went a lot uh, closer to the rocks so I don't get sniped from potential you know PTA that's in the base well as this game developed uh, I didn't intend to like stay in the middle forever, but as this game developed, I noticed that we're losing an ISO line, so yeah. I can easily rest here now and just like shoot everybody who pushes in because I'm gonna have super easy shots onto them, right? There we go, two shots, easy damage collecting. Of course, if your team is winning the one two line, you can try to advance in this middle area, right? You can try to advance even push all the way in the middle if you want this entire side because then the danger of getting sniped from the base is not there anymore but at least for the start I do not recommend pushing up in the middle from the side uh, I actually that actually looked pretty good it looked like I hit the at least the first blind shot yeah there's like various tanks pushing us here all I gotta do is take it easy if they do advance I can just climb a little bit higher. I noticed that uh, the PTA is no longer uh, present there. So I decided to advance a bit. Like I said, my team pretty much won the side. So now I can be brave and push in the middle. And uh, farm whatever they got here. In our case, it was an E50M. There's still the PTA in the middle. But I decided to reload before I go because I'm going to need two shots for him. So there's no point in going just one shot and then reloading and waiting until I reload and taking shots from him right no I'll reload push in they're, they're pushing my my base pretty hard and so far they got two tanks in the base 
I decided it's worth the risk to just go in and take a shot from the BTA because I can kill him very fast. And so I did. There we go. That was relatively good. Didn't really suffer too much from that. Well, yeah. It had to be done because if I left the PTA there, my team would have suffered. But right now I'm seeing the 60 TP trying to push. I don't want to fight these guys here now because in the position where the 60 TP is, he's going to keep me proxy spotted, which means I'm going to be spotted all the time. And these guys here will shoot me. In case you don't know what proxy spot means, whenever you're at 50 meters distance from a tank, you will be spotted no matter what, whether if you're behind a building or whether you're a kilometer above him or under, because the spotting uh, proxy spot system works like that. It's pretty much like a cylinder, right? And everything within a 50 meter distance in that cylinder, not vertically though, just uh, horizontally, everything within a 50 meter distance will get spotted no matter what, no matter what cover, no matter, it doesn't matter, right? So that's why I didn't want to stay in the fight with the 60p, because he would have just uh, kept me spotted. I was trying to like pop a couple of blushes here for the arty because I didn't notice he was shooting from that direction. I thought maybe I'd, be maybe I'd get lucky, but uh, it wasn't the case. All I got to do now is finish the enemy tanks, right? And I can still play the middle because uh, the enemy base is clear. And what do I spy? <laughs> My little eye. Enemy STRV. You got clapped quite fast. That was a good, uh, a very good uh, clip there. There's also this 430. I'm not really worried about him. I'm more worried about the Sharf tours in the back that are just chilling. Um, in case I didn't mention for this tank, I am using vertical stabs, optics, and rammer on uh, open maps. But on a map like Abbey, which is just corridors, I'm using uh, vertical stabs, rammer, and hardening. It's always good to have that extra HP, right? Of course. I wasn't really expecting the Sharf troop to be in the base already. But this pretty much tells me that everybody from the enemy team had relocated already. So I'm gonna meet the other Sharf tour there. All I gotta do is just jump down fast here. Like I said, this area is very open. That's why I don't recommend pushing the middle at the start. You can easily get shot. Yeah, my auto aim uh, adventures. I decided to actually aim properly so I don't bounce this one too. I can just chill here and hide. I wasn't going too low because I was hoping maybe the, one of the Sharf tours, well, remaining Sharf tours, is gonna try to shoot me so I can see exactly where he's at. For a second, I thought he might still be in this like pocket here, but he's not. Just got advance, finished the the game. Well, I got spotted, so he's either up here where I'm aiming, or on the right side, where artilleries usually hide, right? And he's kind of getting uh, clapped by the arty. Yeah, there we go. Easy game, easy life. There's only arty left. If we can actually get to him in time. And it uh, looks like we can't. There you have it. Simple, easy way to play the middle as a paper tank. Obviously, if you're in a paper tank, you can also uh, use the 9-0 line to snipe, right? The thing is, you can't really advance too much on both sides, only like run these areas to snipe. But if you want to have like a more hands-on approach, like get things done yourself, spot and shoot yourself, the middle play will be your best bet, like uh, you've seen in our game. Okay, so going into the results, we didn't get an ace tanker. It's very hard to get an ace tanker on this particular tank. I have gotten ace tankers on this, but you know, I thought that this game was just like too nice to not showcase it, especially since you know people are always interested in map guides, so to say even if this was like a more simple one. Anyways, we managed to get a high caliber medal. We got to 112k credits, probably had some booster going on, 2009 XP, and uh, mastery one. Going into the detail results, we ended up with 6,961 damage. I did hit uh, one or two of those blind shots I was telling you in game. We got five kills, 1,330 
1339 base XP. We also managed to get 1293 assist damage. I was probably like spotting the, the, the tanks late game. Like I said, this is a corridor map, so the range is not really needed. And uh, last but not least, we lost 40, uh, 49,000 uh, credits. I am using only gold demo on this tank, as I've explained in the previous videos, that the base velocity is very low for this tank, and the APCR helps a lot with accuracy. You're going to notice that the accuracy of this tank is not the best, even with APCR ammo, but having the faster shell will definitely help you with that. So yeah, we made the minus 49,000 uh, credits. I was like using a little booster, probably 25%, but it's tier 10, so don't really expect to make credits at this tier. Okay there, folks. That was pretty much the video for the day. Let me know in the comments below what do you think uh, about the tactic, and also what do you think about Abby as a map? Not everybody loves it, so <laughs> I know that for a fact. That's about it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and of course share it with your friends so we can grow the business to astronomical, global, incredible levels. Until next time, thank you for watching. Have a good one.